Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for some more Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your video's Kelvin. Where we're dealing with landings and the Raj has capitulated. Alright, the bad news for us though is we have to garrison all of this land now. Yeah, we've we've taken enough land, now we have to actually garrison it. Actually, that's not true. Uh first I should look at the industry. Uh map mode here. Okay, so those two are wasteland, so I don't have to garrison those at all. But everything else must be garrisoned. Or else, holy hell, partisans. Like, probably back here, yeah, partisans are already gutting up pretty quick. Yeah, so we need to uh, start working on that. And get the garrisons through. Bad news is, there's probably nowhere near enough men to do the garrisoning. So, we're going to need garrisons. Yeah, there's no resources in there. It's fine. Uh, that's Raj. That's Raj. Raj. There we go. Alright. There we go. So they're just going to have to figure out a way to garrison the Raj and try and keep everything put together. All right. All right, so we're taking on some pretty heavy naval losses out here. That's a level six naval base, okay. Select all, uh, return to Hong Kong. Okay. And let's actually get you an admiral, shall we? There we go. Yamamoto. Good. Experience five veterans. Yeah, we we will need a lot more fighters and carriers and all that. So, now that you guys are done. We need you to go set up a front line there, unsurprisingly. Balls. That's a lot of freaking landings. All right. Like I said, we need, we need to s secure our ports and set up the garrisons and all that. This. All right. Uh, let's see. You here. You here. You here. Go. Let's retake Hanoi. Alright, completely surrounded. After injecting your troops build up, the Soviet tries to wisely chose to withdraw their forces from the area immediately adjacent to the Manchurian border. Our soldiers have temporarily occupied several abandoned border outposts. This will help we put an end to ludicrous border claims the Russians and their Mongolian allies have been putting forward. A show of force is all it took. Yeah. Alright. Good. So... Yeah, we're, uh, we're probably going to hold off on that. Because I'm not sure what's going to end up happening with that. That said... Torpedo range, plus 100. 100% torpedo range is going to be pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So. The German Reich continues to fail to take Poland. Yeah, they're, they're, the Germans are not doing so well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That said, I think we're in okay shape. Okay. And you guys, congratulations. 
One, two, three. Wow, there's literally only three zones here, huh? Well, in that case, uh, it's dead, yeah. Like, delete the garrison order. Turns out there's only three, uh, three zones, though. That's pretty easy to deal with. Holy hell. Still down 8,100 artillery guns. We're trying. I promise. Alright. Well, we've pr we've actually started producing military factories now. That's, uh, that's, that's a miracle. Repairs are being done and are almost finished, actually. Yeah, most of them are about to finish, even. With, uh, these being the last levels. So. We're, uh, we're doing pretty well. We are doing pretty well. Mm-hmm. Good. So, all the repairs and everything give us a total of 98 owned factories. Even with this, like, I need to go to total mobilization. I tell ya. Even if we lose out on some manpower, whatever. That's fine. Like, the war economy is not enough. Because we have so many factories. It's costing us way too many. And we don't need much manpower, so... Yeah, some improved in artillery upgrades. Yeah, it's about time to upgrade our infantry equipment. Logistics company shall give into signal company for the main army. All right. Well, I'm still holding on. Netherlands can make the Netherlands capitulate. Apparently, I'll have to make the Netherlands capitulate. Yep. First, we have to go through Siam. Easier said than done. I don't even have a full army I could commit to Siam, which means we're probably screwed if we try. That said, considering the amount of artillery we're producing, our shortage isn't that bad. At this rate, yeah. Only three months until we're filled up on artillery. There we go. We're getting there, I would say. We are getting there. All weather specialist. Mm. I think we'll take ground specialist. There, the cabinet's filled out. So yeah, we're definitely going to take uh, a total mobilization next. Imperial glory. Man. That's good. American fleet and pearl armor. Diplomatic and economic sanctions except from the United States appear to have been beginning something more threatening. The American Pacific Fleet has been stationed in the naval base in Pearl Harbor. Why clear signal the Americans will maintain a strong presence in the Pacific and continue supporting our enemies. Striking against this base at, po at this point may be the give us the element of surprise. So, uh, yeah. The USA gets the Pearl Harbor focus as long as I don't attack them. Yeah. That said, it's not a problem since uh, they can't do anything with it until 1942. So we've got time. We got time to kill, baby. All right. Yeah. So uh, they they can use the Pearl Harbor, Harbor Gambit to declare war on us if we don't. But hey, Poland finally capitulated. Great news, everyone. Poland capitulated. <laughs> God, that's awful. And that's why we don't join the Axis when I'm recording, by the way. I, I, I swear, every time I press the record button, Hitler's retarded twin takes over Germany. And they suddenly suck. Be damned if I, uh... Play, uh... Pl play without that, though. They, they, they will be good. Hey, out. Uh, I really want to get to Fighter 3. But we'll see. Alright. Yeah, they did last in 1940, and they started the war in 1938, I'd like to remind you. Like, the war was over the Sudetenland. <laughs> that's, uh, that's how bad it was. Alright.
super heavy battleships. Yeah. Uh, we're going to need naval air innovations, which will help us get the fighter that we need. Yeah. So, the long lance. Torpedo range. Aw, oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to probably have to leave that slot open while we research that or something, aren't we? Yeah, I guess we can get away with this. Alright. So. Yeah, available war goal. Conquer, take away from the United States. Let's not. I say instead we are going to uh, begin justifying war goal against Siam. We might have enough power, as it turns out, to just beat the crap out of them. So, then we can push down here and take Malaysia. It's rather important that we start taking Malaysia, because look at the friggin' rubber. This is the world's rubber supply right here. And uh, if it goes into the hands of the Axes rather than the Allies, then uh, that could turn the tide in Europe. Who knows? We will see. Alright. Your armies are nearly fully equipped, yeah. They 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 are. It's there's barely any uh any issue now. The shortage will last for just over a month now. But yeah. It's uh we're pretty good. We are definitely well off. Yeah, there's entire regions that just are not garrisoned. Well, we're gonna move y somebody else in who can uh have more people under his command, so that way we can uh, transfer more or less the armies over there and hopefully manage the uh, garrison of Indochina and India. We shall see. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am joins the allies. All right. Offensive line. Go. And, oh yeah, set an offensive line here. That failed. Soviet Union annexes Tanutava. Ah, oh, just what I need. Okay, that's bad. That, that's bad. So, the Soviet Union annexing Tanutava is bad. Let's go on. Okay, they're doing lessons of war right now. Annex Tanutava now means that at pretty much at any point they can just, uh... Oh, they still have the National Spirit Officers Perched. <laughs> okay, good news. They're still feeling the effects of the Officer Perch. They can't come kill us yet. Bad news. We're going to war with the Soviet Union. Yeah, Stalin's looking east. It's, uh, that's going to make things a bit more complicated. There we are. We have seized Bangkok. I mean, I doubt Siam will... Yeah, they don't have much else, so... Uh, you guys, here... I think that'll be, like, that's the last of their victory points, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, we, we've absolutely slaughtered the Siamese army. Denmark has joined the Allies. To no one's surprise. And Siam capitulates now, yeah? No? What other victory points do they have? Ah, right here. And they're abandoning it. They're just gonna leave it wide open, alright. And that's the war. Yeah, no. You're not getting any farther than that, kid. There. Siam capitulates. Seriously? USSR occupies eastern Poland. 
and Western Poland, apparently, or at least random portions of it. Yeah, we need to take their capital, so. Even Sinkaying is helping out. That said, I mean, this is actually just a giant encirclement, isn't it? So. What? Well, yeah, we're garrisoning that. Please try and take some of our shit back. There. Hey, everyone. We're assigning you to this offensive. Go. Use manual assignment for this shit. Alright. Alright. Siam capitulates. There we go. Alright, so Sam fell, and they're pretty screwed, yeah. Done. They all have suddenly no organization. Now is the time to press. Good. Alright, so that helps clean up the uh, Siamese theater. Alright. Like, our entire army is just going to be used up for garrisons at this point. Good. So, we now have enough that we can begin building more armies. That said, uh, we're going to edit. Duplicate. So, new. this is the only way to create new divisions, by the way, which is really weird. Is duplicate. We're uh, basically probably just going to be removing. Pretty much everything here. From this division. Jesus. Alright, that said, there we go. Wait. Mobile? Ah, okay. Yeah. Alright, there we are. And we'll keep the logistics. And we'll probably get military police for them at some point in the near, f near future. Cavalry Type 1. Mounted Police. They have expression to 10, which is just fine. Alright. Uh, these guys. Yeah, they get the fist. Train. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Fifty 35, 40, 50. 50 should be enough of a garrison, I would think. Oh, really? I'm going to have to fucking transport them off the mainland? Ugh. Oh, well. We'll have to do that, I guess. Just be in Nagasaki. Alright. In the meantime... That's the, uh... Landing alarm. Like, hey guys... We we uh we have a we have an offensive line here. I see. That's uh that's impressive. There you go. Launch the assault. We want Singapore. That will greatly harm the United Kingdom's rubber supply. Yeah. Good. 
So. Yeah. The Netherlands, currently 745 rubber. The United Kingdom, 525 rubber available for export. So, the conquest of Malaysia will greatly help us here. As that will eliminate the remaining rubber supply for the Allies. And that's, uh, that's not good for them. It's not good at all. 429 days. It's ahead of time as hell, but we'll get that readied for our carriers. Yeah. Alright, not bad. So, how's the war doing? We've lost 131,000 people. And the Allied casualty total somewhere in the million. First million. Low first million, yeah. Alright, but France is actually going to fall to Italy, it looks like. On the other hand, who knows, looks like they might just manage to squeeze just around the Maginot line there. And or go through the Maginot line, sure. Yeah, sure, go, sure. Whatever, you know what, go through the Maginot line. You're Germany, you can do whatever the hell you want. <sighs> they don't pay me enough for this. They don't pay me enough for this. In the meantime, thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Kelvin, signing off.